Let's start off with this first. That's a front that's coming in. You can see the winds uh, to the north of us out of the, well, the N's and the NNW's. That's north, northwest, and north. That indicates the uh, front and all the sensors out there that are picking up the winds out of the north. You can see and it has green on it. That's just clutter on the radar side. It's not actual showers, so ignore that part of it. But we are seeing this front push on through, and with that, we'll see the winds gust up a little bit. They'll be out of the north today. Otherwise, we're looking at uh, pretty, uh, pretty warm temperatures, up to about 85 for this afternoon. Over the next two, two days, though, you're going to see a change from one day to the next that is going to be, well, dramatic enough to enjoy. It's not going to be this little front that just comes in and kind of barely makes a, a change. We'll see a more significant change tomorrow night when a front rolls in that cools us down into the 50s in the mornings again. 71 degrees, cloud cover. Winds are rather light and they're variable right now. We're going to see them shift over to the north here in the next couple of hours. You'll see that front push on through and it's going to change the wind directions and pick things up as far as uh, the winds, the breezes, the gusts. Now, our humidity is at 87%. It's a forecast that has temperatures to the north and to the west into the 60s right now, whereas that we have the 70s here. But now Georgetown is at 68 degrees, and you can see the temperatures are cooling these areas. Lime Pass is 70, Burn at 68, 72 in Lakeway. You'll see these numbers probably maybe drop a degree. Of course, once the sun comes up, we'll start to see things warm up. So you have a little bit of a battle there between the sun warming and the cool air coming in. And this is not a big, strong front, but it is going to cool us down a bit. It's not that strong. At the center of its way to the north of us, we're just catching the very edge of it, if you will. So we'll get a, a bit of a glancing blow. It'll cool us down briefly. The winds will shift over to the north briefly, briefly, and then they'll be out of the south by tomorrow. And then another one comes in. That one tomorrow night is going to cool us down to the point where we do have some chilly mornings expected. We'll talk about that in just a second. With the possibility for showers out of the east, we think that's a, a good front for folks to the east and north of us to cool down. But here locally, just not much showing up. Here's the afternoon today. You can see that things are quiet into tomorrow morning. Still quiet. There's a passing shower or two. One once that pushes on through 8 a.m., you can see that uh, by tomorrow evening, there's not much to look at, but there is a front moving in, and that's when we see our temperatures uh, starting to drop. 85 for the high today, so this front doesn't do much, right? Winds out of the northeast at 10 to 15, partly cloudy. Tonight, 60, locally 60, which means 50s. Winds out of the east at 5 to 15. Seven-day forecast temperatures today, 85. Tomorrow before the front comes in, 89, so not a big cool down for us. But then Wednesday night into Thursday, we drop to 56. We only go to 81 on Thursday. After that, second day out, usually the coolest, 50 to 79. 50 locally means everybody really is going to be in the 40s. Same for Saturday morning with 40s. Afternoon highs, 83. And then a touch warmer to Sunday and Monday with a very slight chance for showers.